Ever wondered why some people seem unshakable in the face of disrespect, while others lose their cool at the drop of a hat? Well, get ready to dive into the art of mastering life's curveballs. How do we navigate the rough waters of disrespect without losing our cool? In this video, we are about to uncover the secrets of maintaining composure when faced with rudeness. 1. Keep your calm. So, picture this. Someone throws shade your way. Maybe they disrespect you or say something that rubs you the wrong way. It's like a little storm brewing inside, right? But hold up. Here's the thing according to the ancient philosophy of Stoicism. It's not the disrespect itself that gets to us. It's how we react to it. Imagine your mind is this serene pond and disrespect is like a pebble thrown into it. Sure, it makes ripples, but those ripples don't have to rock your whole boat. That's what Epictetus, one of the OG Stoic philosophers, meant when he said, people are disturbed not by things, but by the view they take of them. So, next time someone disrespects you, remember this, their words or actions aren't about you, they're about them. It's like they're carrying around a backpack full of their own thoughts, feelings and opinions. And sometimes they spill that stuff out onto others. But guess what? You don't have to carry their backpack for them. Instead, take a deep breath and remind yourself that you're chilling on your own path, unaffected by their drama. It's like having a superpower, the power to keep your calm no matter what life throws at you. So, embrace your inner stoic. Let the disrespect slide off your back like water off a duck and keep on shining. 2. Reflect on yourself In life we all face moments of disrespect, but how we handle them can make a big difference. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, offers valuable lessons on dealing with such situations. One key lesson is self-reflection. Instead of reacting impulsively, take a moment to reflect on yourself. Ask simple questions like, did I do anything to contribute to this situation? Is there truth in what was said? This isn't about blaming yourself, it's about understanding and learning. As Marcus Aurelius, a famous Stoic, put it, the quality of your thoughts shapes your happiness. By reflecting, you gain insight into the event and your role in it. Stoicism teaches us to respond with rational judgment, not knee-jerk reactions. This means pausing before reacting, considering our values, and choosing a response aligned with them. It's like taking a deep breath before speaking. This approach fosters personal growth and wisdom. It's about turning a negative experience into a learning opportunity. So, next time you face disrespect, remember to reflect, respond thoughtfully, and grow from the experience. Stoicism isn't just an ancient philosophy. It's a practical guide to navigating life's challenges with grace and wisdom. 3. Have empathy. Have you ever heard the saying, walk a mile in someone else's shoes? Well, that's what empathy is all about. Imagine you're dealing with someone who's being disrespectful. Instead of getting upset right away, try to understand where they're coming from. Maybe they're having a bad day or they're feeling insecure. By seeing things from their perspective, you might realize that their behavior isn't about you at all. Empathy is like a superpower that helps us connect with others. It lets us see beyond the surface and understand what someone else is feeling. When we practice empathy, we're not just being nice. We're actually making the world a better place. Instead of reacting with anger or defensiveness, empathy helps us respond with kindness and respect. Think of empathy as a tool for personal growth. When we put ourselves in someone else's shoes, we learn valuable lessons about compassion and understanding. It's like exercising a muscle that makes us stronger and wiser. So, the next time someone disrespects you, don't take it personally. Instead, try to empathize with them. You'll be amazed at how much better you feel, and you might even turn a negative situation into a positive one. 
4. Concentrate on virtue. Stoicism, a cool philosophy from way back, is all about becoming the best version of you. Picture this. You're becoming a superhero of your own life, but without the cape. Instead of super strength, we're talking about developing super virtues like wisdom and courage. So, why these virtues? Well, according to Seneca, one of the OG Stoic philosophers, being virtuous is like being super logical and in tune with how things naturally work. It's like being the Batman of rationality. Stoics are all about this idea that being virtuous is the top-notch thing in life. Everything else? Meh. Not so important. Picture it like this. Virtue is the juicy steak, and everything else is just the side salad. Now, when someone's rude to us, Stoicism teaches us not to lose our cool. Instead, we flex our Stoic muscles and respond with grace and dignity. It's not about letting people walk all over us. It's about showing them how awesome we are without getting all hot-headed. By focusing on being virtuous, we dodge the emotional roller coaster and keep our heads high. We're like Jedi Masters, calm and collected even when the galaxy is in chaos. Stoicism is like that tough coach who pushes us to be our best, no matter what life throws our way. So, let's embrace our inner Stoic superhero and tackle life's challenges with grace, wisdom and a sprinkle of coolness. 5. Embrace Acceptance You know that famous dude Epictetus once said, Don't sweat the stuff you don't have, be stoked about what you do. Basically, it's about being grateful for what's going right instead of stressing over what's not. Stoicism also teaches this nifty trick called the dichotomy of control. Fancy term, right? But it's simple. Focus on what you can control. Your thoughts, feelings, actions, and shrug off the rest. That means when someone disses you, don't let it mess with your Zen mode. Just roll with it, baby. Why? Because getting all worked up only adds fuel to the fire. By embracing disrespect with stoic vibes, you dodge the drama and keep your cool intact. Plus, you turn it into a learning opportunity. How cool is that? 6. Use humor. You know life's a bit like juggling, isn't it? Sometimes you get thrown a curveball, and it's up to you to keep those balls in the air without dropping any. Now picture this. You're walking along, minding your own business. When someone comes along and says or does something that rubs you the wrong way, it's like they've just tossed a big juicy tomato right at your face. Ouch. But hey, here's where things get interesting. Ever heard of stoicism? No, it's not about looking serious all the time like a statue. It's actually this cool ancient philosophy that says, hey, you can't control everything that happens, but you sure can control how you react. Wise words, right? So, here's the deal. Instead of letting that tomato splatter ruin your day, why not whip out a witty comeback or crack a playful joke? It's like adding a pinch of salt to that tomato. Suddenly it's not so sour anymore. Of course, we're not talking about turning into stand-up comedians here. Just a sprinkle of humor to keep things light and breezy. It's like putting on a pair of comedy glasses. Suddenly, the world seems a whole lot brighter. Remember what Seneca, the OG philosopher, said? You have mastered yourself when you know how to deal with what you should not take seriously. So let's channel our inner stoic folks and turn those sour tomatoes into delicious salads of laughter. 7. Set clear boundaries. You're not a doormat, you're a sturdy rock, unshaken by life's storms. Stoicism isn't about bottling up emotions or blindly accepting mistreatment. It's about being firm, yet calm, like that unyielding rock. When someone crosses the line, you don't have to explode like a volcano. Instead, channel your inner stoic. Address the issue calmly but assertively. Let them know where they went wrong and what behavior you expect. Stoicism empowers you to set boundaries that safeguard your dignity and self-respect. 
Think of it as your shield against disrespect and injustice. It's about standing tall, not in arrogance, but in self-assurance. This philosophy teaches us to be strong, fair, and brave in the face of adversity. It's a reminder to respect ourselves and others, fostering harmony in our interactions. So, next time someone tries to push your buttons, remember, you're not just a pebble on the shore, you're a rock, resilient and unyielding. Stoicism isn't just a philosophy, it's your guide to navigating life's rough seas while keeping your integrity intact. 8. Choose forgiveness. Imagine someone hurts you deeply. Do you explode in fury or do you take a deep breath and let it slide? Well, ancient Stoic philosophy has a cool trick up its sleeve, forgiveness. Now this isn't about doing a favor for the person who wronged you, it's actually a gift to yourself. Forgiveness is like a magic key that unlocks inner peace and happiness. But let's get real here. Forgiveness isn't a walk in the park. It doesn't mean you forget what happened or give a thumbs up to bad behavior. It's about saying, you know what? I'm not going to let this anger eat me up inside anymore. Stoics advise us to forgive everyone, but not recklessly. We should forgive smartly, with kindness and fairness. Here's the kicker. We can't control how others act, but we sure can control our reactions. So why not choose forgiveness? It's like setting yourself free from a heavy backpack of bitterness and resentment. You get to stroll through life with a lighter heart and a calmer mind. That's the stoic way. Letting go of what we can't control and focusing on what we can. So forgiveness isn't a sign of weakness. It's a badge of strength. It's not waving the white flag. It's claiming victory over your own emotions. And hey, it's not a sacrifice. It's a sweet reward. Forgiveness? It's basically the ultimate act of treating yourself with kindness and growing into a better, happier human being. 9. Learn to pause. Ever find yourself boiling with anger over a slight? Well, the wise Seneca once said, hey, anger's not just a bad mood, it's a bad habit in the making. Those ancient Stoics were onto something big, self-control rocks. They're all about keeping your cool and thinking straight. You see, when you're ticked off, your brain goes haywire and you're bound to mess things up. So, what's the Stoic secret sauce? It's simple, hit pause. When someone is disrespecting you, resist the urge to go full Hulk mode. Instead, take a breather, count to 10, do whatever floats your boat. This tiny break lets you reel in those wild emotions and think logically. By holding back the urge to snap, you're playing by the stoic playbook. That means you're using your brain, not your fists, to handle the situation. And guess what? It works like magic. You'll find yourself having civilized chats instead of heated debates. Plus, you'll earn some serious brownie points for keeping your cool. 10. Change your perspective. Ever felt like someone dissed you and you're ready to throw down? Well, hold your horses. Let's talk about seeing things from a different angle, what we call perspective. It's like putting on magical glasses that make you chill when someone's acting up. Think of it this way. You know when your phone glitches and you're like, ugh, why is this happening? Perspective is like zooming out and realizing, hey, it's just a glitch, not the end of the world. Cool, right? Remember Marcus Aurelius? That ancient dude was onto something when he said, life is what you make it. So when someone disrespects you, it's like a blip on your life radar. No biggie. It's often their own issues talking, not yours. Now, instead of getting all worked up, you can choose your response. Maybe you shrug it off. Maybe you teach them a thing or two, whatever floats your boat. Plus, focusing on what truly matters, like your goals and values, is way more rewarding than dwelling on negativity. So, next time disrespect comes knocking, whip out your perspective glasses and keep your cool. Remember, it's not about hiding your feelings, but handling them like a boss. And hey, 
If you dig this wisdom, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more ancient hacks. See you in the next vid.